We'll get started in three, two, one. And we're back with GLIAC Media Day 2021. Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here. And now we're joined by Michigan Tech head football coach Steve Olson, along with two of his outstanding players, junior quarterback Will Ark and senior defensive lineman Nate LaJoy. Uh, coach, you got better every season since you've gotten to Michigan Tech, and you, you had the gap year. You know, you finished 5-5 five and five in 2019. Then you had that gap season last year during the pandemic. Was that a benefit for you? And if so, what were you able to do being able to hit that reset button to get your team ready for 2021? Well, obviously, I think for everybody, you know, uh, last year was a, just a challenging year trying to work through all of the things that we had to do from the standpoint of, you know, just getting in and training with your guys and keeping groups small and, and working through COVID as best you possibly can. And, you know, and I think, number one, I think our, our players did an outstanding job of, of working through that. Um, I feel really good about the things that we were able to accomplish last fall uh, and then again in the spring. Uh, from a standpoint of practicing and, and being able to keep, for the most part, players safe and you know and, and COVID free, and then also the the off season stuff that that we did with uh, with our strength coach and strength GA, I thought he really did a nice job with us. So um, very happy with with the progression that we made. You know, you, you haven't played anybody else, so it's really hard to know. But um, at the same time, I, I feel like we've made some strides and, and feel like we're getting better. And you talk about getting better and making strides. I want to ask, because coaches know before everybody else, uh, what part of your team do you feel like, you know what, this is this has a chance to be special this year uh, going into the season? Which part do you think is ready to make the biggest jump moving forward? Well, I, I think we're going to see some improvement from our offensive line will be a big part of it. You know, So we're really looking forward to that You know, and, and the ability to just – continue to run the ball. We've got a lot of running backs back with experience. We have Will back, you know, as a quarterback uh, with a lot of experience. And, and uh, you know, we lost some guys that the last time we played were good wide receivers for us, but we feel like we have a receiving core that will be good from that standpoint. So offensively, we're feeling like, you know, we're going to have the ability to get, get some more things done from that standpoint. And then on the defense, defense line certainly will be a strength for us. Um, you know, as we go into the season, you know, and anchored by Nate, who's sitting right next to me here, is, is a really good player for us. And, and uh, but we also feel like we're going to improve some of our athleticism in the second, on the back end. And, and we have a lot of experience of linebacker position, getting Marvin Wright back, who was an outstanding player for us that didn't play in 2019. But he's a guy that has a chance to set our, our school record for tackles in a career. Uh, so he's been an outstanding player for us in the past. And we're, we're looking forward to getting him back along with those other linebacking members. Will, the last time we saw you in 2019, you were coming off a standout breakout game against Northwood. And I want to ask what went into that performance and what can you take from that going into a season in 2021 where you had a little bit of time now to really craft and work on your game? Yeah, so uh, that last game against Northwood was actually – I missed a couple of games uh, due to injury. I tore my PCL, um, so I played that Northwood game. I had a brace on, um, and I think uh, what really went well that game was I I was beat up. You know, I couldn't move as much as I wanted to, but I trusted, you know, the offensive line, running backs, tight ends to keep me protected while I could stay back there and, and sling the rock, you know. So I, I need to get better at that still, but moving forward um, – just getting better at uh, my, my pocket presence almost. I think that was uh, one thing I took away from that one. And Nate, I, I'm a big proponent of saying that size is not a skill. So if you're good enough, you're big enough. And I notice about you, you have bought prime real estate in the opponent's backfield. You know, you eight and a half sacks. You always find your way to make a play on both ends of defense. What goes into being uh, that undersized interior defensive lineman or alone a defensive line, but still able to find that consistent success against guys that tend to be a little bit taller and a little bit heavier than you are? Uh, I think work ethic goes a lot into it. Uh, not giving up on any plays when it comes to the line or anything like that, because any second can matter and any half second can matter when it comes to rushing the quarterback. So my biggest goal when I'm trying to rush and uh, make some pressure and get some sacks is never give up because the opportunity is always there, I feel like. 
Yeah, and it's fun to watch you guys kind of slowly develop and, and build this thing brick by brick. And, you know, we got the business part of the, the, the interview out the way. So before I get out of here and get you guys out of here, we want to have a little fun. Uh, Coach, I'll start with you. You know, we go back to an era where uh, name, image, and likeness wasn't the case. So let's take a step back to when you were a student athlete. What would have been the first NIL deal you would have signed as a player? <laughs> well, first of all, you guys need to know that that I didn't play college football, so I was a baseball player. So I'm sure that it would probably have been something that would have had to do with uh, trying to get something into into some gloves that I'd wear or something like that. <laughs> Smart, but you know what's funny, Coach? Like, and it's and I'm joking, but I'm dead serious. I look at the players now, and they have the right mentality about it, like, oh, I'm going to go with these major corporations. But we would have been something as simple, like you said, gloves, or for me, food. Or maybe even, you know, these jeans that I used to like that this one store in this mall sold. Like, it never would have been much. But he, maybe we just think it's so small. But these guys nowadays got these big dreams. And they're thinking the right way. But, it, again, it wouldn't have took much for us to uh, to really make us happy. Well, uh, I had a friend of mine, and his would have been Zulus, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, Will and Nate, it's a, it's a similar question for you guys, you know, building off of the NIL thing, uh, but it's different because now with NIL being the, the law of the land, guess what? We're going to get an NCAA football game back on, you know, PlayStation and Xbox and, and other gaming consoles. So I'll ask you guys the same question. I'll start with you, Will, the quarterback. Uh, if NCAA came out tomorrow, what would your rating be? My rating? Yes. Oh boy! Uh, do they do, do D two ratings? We, let's say they do D two ratings, and um, let's say they're gonna give you guys equal footing as they do the guys on the Power Five level. All right. Well, I would say, um, you know, what I've done in two years, I wouldn't say would not be, um, let's say, cover material. Um, but I would, I would give myself, let's say, a mid eighty, so I got room to improve as the season goes on. That's a smart answer, man. I like how you prefaced it with, or I'm going to give myself this with room to improve. I'm not the cover, and I don't want to say 99, but 85 is definitely high we'll enough. That, sure. <laughs> what about you, Nate? Well, I'll keep it humble. I won't go with the 99 either, but I think, uh, the 92 for the football number is a pretty good number. If I could get something around that, I'd be happy. You, you know what? Humbleness is, is, is important. It'll get you guys far in life, and I'm, I'm glad you guys had fun. Uh, with that question it's always fun to see those uh games come out and hopefully they include all the teams like they should since they had enough time to create the ultimate college football game but listen i, I like how you guys are, are doing your your business you're building the program brick by brick like i said and you're getting better every year so i'm excited to see what you guys do out there on the field and we wish you the best of luck moving forward and continue to have success in 2021 thank you thank you Thanks, Emery. Appreciate it. Coach, I got a question for you guys. We've been uh, interviewing a lot of the former Gleick football players who have, you know, advanced to the NFL. And one of the questions we've asked them is, you know, who is your toughest opponent to, you know, get ready for and prepare for? And a lot of them came up with Michigan Tech. They said, you know, you got to go up to the UP, travel across the bridge. It's going to be cold and Tech's going to give you, you know, fundamentally sound football for all four quarters. So just kind of maybe touch on what, uh, you know, how Michigan Tech has built up that culture and then even reputation of just being one of the toughest opponents to play in the Gleick. Well, I think over the over the course of time, I mean, over the course of years, a lot of that culture was built in here at Tech, you know, through previous coaches and stuff like that. So it's it's not like it's something that hasn't been around in our culture for years, going back to um, you know, and, and probably before that. But I'll go back to Ted Curley, obviously, who's who the, who our our field is named after him, and the previous head coach to me, you know, his son Tom Curley, the Curley Family Stadium. Uh, those guys certainly involved uh, a lot of uh, that type of character in Michigan Tech and that belief in it. But I think a lot of it has to do with the character of, of the type of player that we're recruiting here. We're recruiting guys that, that generally speaking, want to be really successful academically as well as on the football field. And so they're already ready to be challenged in there, and they have that motivation skill where they're ready to go from that standpoint. Um, and, and then we just talk about – just all the time trying to defend our field and being mentally tough and, and doing all the little things right become very important, you know? So those are some keys from that standpoint. 
Yep, definitely. And then to Will and Nate, you know, again, what is that like, you know, playing in front of, let's say, the best band in the land? You guys have a pretty good home field advantage and a pretty good game day experience. So, you know, Will, we'll start with you. What is that like? Uh, I mean, it always, you know, it, it, it keeps the stadium loud, I would say. I, uh, <laughs> when we, you know, we score a touchdown, the band goes nuts, they fire off a cannon. Um, it's kind of, it's, I mean, it's unique. It's absolutely unique. Um, but it's cool in the sense of, uh, oh, I lost my train of thought. It's cool in the sense of like, you know, you, you, you like I said, you, you score in the North end zone. Um, and there's, you know, I don't know how many people are in the band, but the whole band members there and they're, you know, blowing their horns, doing whatever, everybody's going nuts. It's just kind of a cool experience almost to have them waiting for you when you score a touchdown. And then Nate, same thing to you. I just feel like uh, when the band's out there for us, it's officially game day. You know when that band starts going and you're running off the field and or running on the field and they start playing the trumpets, the horns, the tubas. It's like, all right, it's, today's the day. It's Saturday. It's 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 go time. Yeah. No, that's I'll, great. I'll, I'll add to that quickly. Yeah. With the band, you know, when we wrap up and we leave the field before the game, you know, and, and there's that little break, you know, before the game starts, as we're walking down, that's when the band is walking up. And those guys are there beating us and walking down there, high-fiving us. And we get down and we go to the locker room and we come back up the field and they're ready, you know, bang, hit the school song when we take the field and that sort of thing. It's, it's pretty, it creates an awesome atmosphere. Cam, I think we got to go up there, man. I think we got to check out a Michigan Tech home game. I think you're muted, but hey, do you have any questions for these guys? We'd love to have yeah, you guys. Up. Come on up. <laughs> Definitely. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm all for it, Marcus. I, I've got to play uh, – in that stadium and it certainly is a, a pretty rowdy atmosphere there but uh coach what are, what are you looking forward to most as you guys head in the camp well I, you know i think the biggest thing is just getting back to as close to normal football as we've had over the last year i i think that to me is just getting back to that routine of how it is you go about your stuff and how you go about your work that to me is going to be really really important and and that's what I'm looking forward to the most because we've just had so many things that we've had to adapt through this last year. So getting back to that is what I'm fired up for. Absolutely. Getting back to football. Um, I, I've got to ask, Will, you've got to tell me about the stash. Is that is that the camp mustache or are you rocking that on a daily? So that uh, – well, you think you think this only takes a couple of weeks to grow? I don't, I don't really know if this – this I don't get anything else on the on – the, face unless it's you know a couple of months long but uh no i'll give a shout out to my buddy andrew rose uh who my freshman year um had a mustache and i said it looked ugly and he told me wait a year and i grew one out uh every year for camp and i've kind of every year grown it out like longer like starting earlier in the year and i mean i kind of rock it you know let's say half the year maybe three months on three months off and i come back to it but i've had this one going since uh the new year actually that's that's awesome, man. And then Nate, what are you a three tech, nine tech? Where are you at? Inside, outside? Uh, inside D tackle. So yeah, anywhere from three tech to two tech to zero tech. Okay. Okay. So say you're you're uh you're lined up across from across from your guy Will, and you uh you're bull rushing, and you read screen. You pick the ball off. You're running up the sideline. The only person stopping you from scoring is your guy Will. Does he make the tackle, or are you going to score? I would tell him absolutely not. I uh, I've actually never scored a touchdown in my life being a defensive player, so I want it way more than he wants. I will guarantee you that. <laughs> that's awesome. I'd expect well, that. Let's, let's guy. be honest, though. That you know that's not gonna happen. That's no chance that's gonna happen. Would, there's gonna be a stiff arm. I'll spike that ball in the dirt before he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I appreciate it, fellas. I'm looking forward to checking you guys out. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.